Hey everyone, this is Derek, and this is going to be a short little review of graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Um, so kind of as a reminder, we probably saw this in an intermediate algebra class. Um, when we go to graph these, the first thing we're going to do is just treat it like it's an equal sign for a second and figure out where the boundary is. So we'll just get it graphed. Um, since this one's in standard form, I would use the intercepts. So if x is 0, that drops that piece out, and I have 5y equals 10, so then the y would be 2. If y is 0, that piece will drop out, and I have 2x equals 10, so x would have to be 5. That gets me my two points. When x is 0, y is 2, and when x is 5, y is 0. And then here's where the inequality part comes back. So this is really not equals, this is really a greater than. Um, and if it's greater than equal to, it's a solid line. That's like kind of the equivalent of the solid dot on a line graph. Oops. So this is going to be a solid line on this graph. Um, if you have a no equals to, so that would be like a dashed line or an open dot in our old graphs. So this one is going to be dashed. So I'm going to try to draw a dashed line. And then we have to figure out, so that's the boundary. And you know, if you think about something like, something simple, x is greater than three. If this is three, which side do we, do we you know, draw the line on? Well, the side that's bigger than for three, the side, you know, which is over here. Um, we know that because four is bigger than three, we don't even think about it. Um, we know we don't do oops, this side because this is two, two is not bigger than three, this would make it false. If I put in 4, 4 is bigger than 3, that makes it true. We can do the same exact, and it seems silly here to do a test point, but here it's harder to see which side of this thing is the right side. So, and we're going to have the same thing where half the graph is shaded and half isn't. So what we do is we just test 0, 0, and that's what this is saying. Um, so if we throw 0, 0 in the original equation and it comes up true, then I want to shade the side with 0, 0. If I throw zero, zero in here and it comes up false, that's like this two, I'd want to shade the other side. So two and five times zero is supposed to be greater than 10. So zero is greater than 10. So zero is not greater than 10, that is false. So this right here is a big old no, that did not work. So if this didn't work, the only other option is that means that this side over here is the side that does work. Um, if you test the point and it works, you color it. If you test the point and it doesn't work, color the other side. Okay, so with this one, we're in slope intercept form. Um, and we could make a table. So if, for instance, when x is 0, y would be 3. When x is 1, negative 4 plus 3 would make negative 1. And then when x is 0, y is 3. And when x is 1, uh, y is negative 1. So that would be one way to do it. Um, I could also just go directly from the equation. So remember, this is our, our y-intercept, so that's right there. This is our slope, so that's negative 4 over 1. So dropping uh, 4 and running 1, you get to the exact same point. Um, but regardless, there would be our line. <coughs> and then we'll test 0, 0 again. So 0 is less than or equal to negative 4 times 0 plus 3. 0 is less than or equal to 3. 0 is less than 3. That is true. So that means that this point right here worked. So that means we want to shade the side where it works. So Okay, these two are kind of reminders of the special cases of horizontal and vertical lines. So this one is x is greater than or equal to 5. So if we thought of this as just like an, an, an x number line, greater than or equal to 5 would be like that, right? So this is the exact same thing, except now it is in two dimensions. So that would make this, instead of being a point, it's making this whole thing a big solid line. And then all of that is what's getting shaded. But it's the same thing as that little one-dimensional graph. It's just now it's in two dimensions. Uh, y less than 2, so that's going to be a dashed line. And the y's are less than 2 underneath it, so it would be shading down there.